Alanya, formerly Alai, is a beach resort city, a municipality and district of Antalya province, Turkey. It is on the southern coast of Turkey, in the country's Mediterranean region, 133 kilometers east of the city of Antalya. Its area is 1,577 kilometers, and its population is 364,180 in 2022. The city proper has 189,222 inhabitants in 2022. Because of its natural strategic position on a small peninsula into the Mediterranean Sea below the Taurus Mountains, Alanya has been a local stronghold for many Mediterranean-based empires, including the Ptolemaic, Seleucid, Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman empires. Alanya's greatest political importance came in the Middle Ages, with the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum, under the rule of Aladin Kaikubad, from whom the city derives its name. His building campaign resulted in many of the city's landmarks, such as the Kizil Kuli, Red Tower, Tersane, Shipyard, and Alanya Castle. The Mediterranean climate, natural attractions, and historic heritage make Alanya a popular destination for tourism and responsible for 9% of Turkey's tourism sector and 30% of foreign purchases of real estate in Turkey. Tourism has risen since 1958 to become the dominant industry in the city, resulting in a corresponding increase in city population. Warm weather sporting events and cultural festivals take place annually in Alanya. The city has changed hands many times over the centuries, and its name has reflected this. Alanya was known in Latin as Coracisium, or in Greek as Coracision, ancient Greek Coracision, from the Luwian Coracasa, meaning point protruding city. The Roman Catholic Church still recognizes the Latin name as a titular see in its hierarchy. Under the Byzantine Empire, it became known as Kalonoros, or Kalonoros, meaning beautiful fine mountain in Greek. The Seljuks renamed the city Alaye, a derivative of the Sultan Alaeddin Kaikubad de Wern's name. In the 13th and 14th centuries, Italian traders called the city Candelor, or Cardeloro. In his 1935 visit, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk finalized the name in the new alphabet as Alanya, changing the I and E in Alaye, reportedly because of a misspelled telegram in 1933. The town is divided east-west by a rocky peninsula, which is the distinctive feature of the city. The harbor, city center, and Kikubat Beach, named after the Sultan Kaikubad Dam, are on the east side of the peninsula. Damlatash Beach, named for the famous Dripping Caves, and Cleopatra Beach are to the west. The name Cleopatra possibly derives from either the Ptolemaic princess visit here or the area's inclusion in her dowry to Mark Antony. Ataturk. Bulvara, the main boulevard, runs parallel to the sea and divides the southern, much more touristic side of Alanya from the northern, more indigenous side that extends north into the mountains. Sevra Yolukadesi, another major road, encircles the main town to the north. On the peninsula stands Alanya Castle, a Seljuk-era citadel dating from 1226. Most major landmarks in the city are found inside and around the castle. The current castle was built over existing fortifications and served the double purpose of a palace of local government and as a defensive structure in case of attack. In 2007, the city began renovating various sections of the castle area including adapting a Byzantine church for use as a Christian community center. Inside the castle is the Suleymaniye Mosque and Caravan Sarai, built by Suleyman the Magnificent. The old city walls surround much of the eastern peninsula and can be walked. Inside the walls are numerous historic villas, well-preserved examples of the classical period of Ottoman architecture, most built in the early 19th century. The Kizil Kul Red Tower is a 108-foot, 33-mim high brick building standing at the harbor below the castle and containing the Municipal Ethnographic Museum. Sultan Kaikubad I brought the architect Ebu Ali from Aleppo, Syria, to Alanya to design the building. The last of Alanya Castle's 83 towers, the octagonal structure specifically protected the Tersain dockyard it remains one of the finest examples of medieval military architecture. The Tersane, a medieval dry dock built by the Seljuk Turks in 1221, 187 by 131 feet, 57 by 40 balanim, is divided into five vaulted bays with equilateral pointed arches. 
The Alara Castle and Caravanserai near Manavgat, also built under Kaikubad's authority, has been converted into a museum and heritage center. Ataturk's house and museum, from his short stay in the city on February 18, 1935, is preserved in its historic state and is an example of the interior of a traditional Ottoman villa with artifacts from the 1930s. The house was built between 1880 and 1885 in the Carniaric, a stuffed eggplant style. Bright colors and red roofs are often mandated by neighborhood councils and give the modern town a pastel glow. Housed in a 1967 Republican-era building, the Alanya Museum is inland from Damlatash Beach. Alanya is a member of the Norwich-based European Association of Historic Towns and Regions. In 2009, city officials filed to include Alanya Castle and Tersane as UNESCO World Heritage Sites and were named to the 2009 tentative list. Alanya's culture is a subculture of the larger culture of Turkey. The city's seaside position is central to many annual festivals. These include the Tourism and Arts Festival, which marks the opening of the tourism season from at the end of May or beginning of June. At the opposite end of the season, the Alanya International Culture and Art Festival is held in the last week of May and is a notable Turkish festival. Other regular festivals include the Alanya Jazz Days, which has been held since 2002 in September or October at the Kuzul Kule, which is otherwise home to the Municipal Ethnographic Museum. The Jazz Festival hosts Turkish and international jazz musicians in a series of five free concerts. The Alanya Chamber Orchestra, formed of members of the Antalya State Opera and Ballet, gave its inaugural performance on December 7, 2007. The International Alanya Stone Sculpture Symposium, begun as 2004, is held over the month of November. The Alanya Documentary Festival was launched in 2001 by the Alanya Cinematheque Society and the Association of Documentary Filmmakers in Turkey. Onat Kutlar, Turkish poet and writer and founder of the Istanbul International Film Festival, was born in Alanya, as was actress Sema Öner. Ataturk's visit to Alanya is also celebrated on its anniversary each February 18th, centered on Ataturk's house and museum. The Alanya Museum is home to archaeology found in and around the city, including a large bronze Hercules statue, ceramics, and Roman limestone ossuaries, as well as historic copies of the Quran. European residents of Alanya also often celebrate their national holidays, such as Norwegian Constitution Day, and the city set up a Christmas market in December 2010. Iranians also celebrate the Persian New Year, Nevruz, in Alanya. The tourist industry in Alanya is worth just under 1.1 billion euros per year and is therefore the principal industry. The area has many fruit farms, particularly lemons and oranges, and large harvests of tomatoes, bananas, and cucumbers. About 80,000 tons of citrus fruits were produced in 2006 across 16,840 hectares, 40,400 acres. The green gauge plum and the avocado are increasingly popular early season fruits where citrus fruits are becoming unprofitable. Despite the seaside location, few residents make their living on the sea, and fishing is not a major industry. In the early 1970s, when fish stocks ran low, a system of rotating access was developed to preserve this sector. This innovative system was part of Eleanor Ostrom's research on economic governance, which led to her 2009 Nobel Prize in Economics. In 2007, locals protested the establishment of some larger chain supermarkets and clothing stores, which have opened branches in Alanya. Beginning in 2003, with the provisional elimination of restrictions on land purchases by non-nationals, the housing industry in the city has become highly profitable, with many new private homes and condominiums being built for European and Asian part-time residents. 69% of homes purchased by foreign nationals in the Antalya province and 29.9% in all of Turkey are in Alanya. Buyers are primarily individuals rather than investors.